Uh, my name is Sam. Uh, I run content with, or I run the content at Bot Academy, and I also teach the course with Andrew. So I'm really happy to see uh, many of our paid students here, many of our uh, public community here, um, to learn about Zapier and ManyChat. And I'm so grateful to have Dan on here. Um, Dan runs Growth at ManyChat, among many other roles that he does. And he's, we've been talking about Zapier for many months before this. We've talked about it before it was happening. We talked about how it looked like. We talked about it when it was in the testing stage. And now it's actually out. It's actually published. And people are using it. And I want to welcome Dan. Um, for, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your knowledge with us. Of course. Thanks for having me. It's always good to be here. Awesome. And Dan, t tell me why should people be so interested in, in Zapier and ManyChat or just Zapier in general? Sure. Like, what's so powerful about that? That's a, it's an excellent way to start this. Um, I think we were discussing a little bit earlier about how people are getting really wrapped up with, well, what does it do and how do I implement it? So why is this important? Well, the reason why it's important and the, the thing I'm going to lead with and the thing that I'd love for you all to take away from this, if you take away nothing else, is that people would much rather have a conversation with you on Messenger than to fill out a web form. Okay, so what the hell does that have to do with Zapier and ManyChat? Well, um, for a long time, up until very recently, like in the past few months, uh, really, there's not a lot of ways to get information from people online. I mean, there, there are several ways. None of them are really optimal. There, I, I remember when I was doing web design, there were consultants that just, all that they specialized in was optimizing web forms. So they would rewrite the JavaScript. They would like cut down any additional HTTP queries so that the page would load faster. They would do ma uh, mapping like, uh, like with the old crazy egg tool and they'd see who, who's clicking on what when, what are they hovering over just to figure out how they could get a few more responses for the same amount of ad spend, okay? Here's the thing. In Messenger, people are already communicating with you. Like they're used to giving information freely to their friends and family about what they're doing, what they're thinking about. Um, so, and they're doing that with businesses. So what I'm asking you to do is rethink how you're collecting information from people for the purpose of doing lead generation, lead qualification, and trying to figure out if somebody is the right fit for a product or service in your business. Instead of thinking about the old way of doing things, which is web forms, Start thinking about how you can start collecting that information in Messenger because people are so keen to give you so much information so fast because they're not filling out a form. They're having a conversation with something. Does that make sense? Oh, of course. That's okay. so awesome. And yeah. I'm just curious, everyone who's, who's watching now, we have about 60 people here and it's going to keep growing as the uh, workshop goes on. Yeah. Leave, in the, leave in the chat. Why do you want to learn Zapier and ManyChat? Is it for your business? Is it for your client's business? Are you just interested in learning about new technology? I'm very curious, and I think Dan would be also, um, also uh, curious to see what people actually want out of this workshop. So Yeah, sure. I'm seeing both, both. Love having my data in one central place. Nice. My own business. Awesome. Um, yeah. Both, both. Wow. Okay. Everyone's just building everything yeah. for everything. All right. That's awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for, for sharing. So how this workshop will go is the first like 15, 20 minutes or so, Dan has a lot, couple things prepared to show us use cases on Zapier and ManyChat. And the last half of this workshop will be all based on your questions. So after 20 minutes or however long it takes to see the use cases, um, we're going to ask everyone in the chat for questions. I'm going to be moderating the chat and watching it very closely to make sure um, like everyone's like participating and also uh, what questions to answer. And then I'm going to choose one and hit it with Dan and Dan will um, work his magic and share about how to do it. All right. <laughs> nice. Sounds good. All right. So, so, Dan. so, so oh, Tam, okay. case in point, man, you just asked some, a question of people uh, about why they're interested in being here. And look, look at this chat. It's full of information that we could use to qualify these people in some kind of a sales process. Mm. So um, imagine being able to do that at scale in Messenger and then being able to collect these data points and then shoot them into your CRM or shoot them to your email marketing provider. So circle back, circle, circle back to Zapier, that's what Zapier enables you to do with ManyChat. ManyChat is just the front end that lets you ask the questions and have the conversations. And Zapier, with the use of our custom fields, can, can send that information wherever you want it to go. So that's fascinating 
important because now a lot more businesses are using Messenger to qualify leads than they are with <laughs> web forms because they just, you get better engagement, you get information faster from people and you can serve people faster in Messenger. So mm-hmm. case in point. Yeah. Better user experience. So where are we going next? Yeah, exactly. All right. You mentioned you had a few things uh, prepared, some practical use sure. cases to keep you in ManyChat. Um, I would love for you to, if you need to share your screen or. Um, sure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fire up those tabs. Um, I, I want to keep it kind of simple because, uh, again, the takeaway here is Messenger is an amazing tool for qualifying leads. And what that means is the point of it doing any kind of like digital marketing is, is really to figure out who you should be talking to and what kind of messaging works for that kind of person to lead them to some conclusion. Now, if you're doing digital marketing for uh, a business, hopefully that end thing that you're shooting for is a sale. So what you're doing is you're optimizing all of these conversations with people to get to that sale faster. That's really what any good marketing organization is trying to do. So what I'm going to show you right now, for example, uh, this is just an example of something that a lot of people are doing uh, to qualify leads and to get people interested or aware of their products. It's webinars, right? Uh, we're doing one right now. Um, a lot of people are doing webinars because they work really well for top of funnel. Like if nobody's ever heard of you, uh, the barrier to entry of them spending 30 minutes or 40 minutes with you, or maybe even just spending 10 minutes dropping in and out of a webinar is kind of low. And, uh, sometimes you can hook people that way. Sometimes that's the first touch with somebody. Also webinars are great for like the bottom of the funnel where people have known about you for a while, but they're not quite sure what Mm. which product or service to choose. Like they know that you do stuff, but they don't know exactly how it fits for them right now. Webinars are, are a great way to close business as well because sometimes people just need that last touch. Uh, so I'm just going to show you really quickly how to sign somebody up for a webinar inside of Messenger. So they never have to leave Messenger. They never have to like go to a landing page to sign up for something. All you have to do is ask them, hey, do you want to join my webinar? And you can immediately get them signed up in GoToWebinar using Zapier. Does that sound interesting to you guys? It does to me. I really <laughs> <want> to <go. laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. Like, so, yes, yes. So uh, let me see how I can share my screen here. Um, be a- oh, sorry. Can you do it at the very bottom of Zoom? Yes, I sure can. So be aware when I do this, it's going to take over your screen. Uh, and I think that there's a little setting on the top that you can adjust. Um, sure. bu- 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 and I'm really glad, as you show your screen, I'm really glad that you're sharing the high-level things. Oh, good. 